back to our channel guys how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing well so in today's recipe we are making granot stew i have my granot here i roasted it myself if you want to know how i make my granot how i roast it the video will be up there just go and check for it so i have here goat beef and roasted mackerel so in my clean pot, I will add the beef, I will add the goat beef, and I will introduce other ingredients as we go. So keep watching, guys. Now I will add the goat beef. So here I have salt, so I will add some salt. This is my seasoning cube. And I'll add my grated ginger and garlic. If you don't like garlic and ginger, you can make use of onion. So it's perfectly okay. And I'll add curry powder. One teaspoon of curry powder. And I'll add thyme. Do cross thyme. And I will now mix it together and cover it to cook. I will cover it to cook while I while I go on prepping other ingredients. Our meat is doing well. Okay, now it's time for us to add water. It's very, very important. So, so that the meat will cook very well and becomes tender. While our meat is still cooking, I will go ahead and blend all my onion and the sweet pepper and scotch bonnets. So, I'm making use of two onion, one red and white. I will now add to my food processor. Now I have one bell pepper. I'm making use of one bell pepper. So because I'm not making a uh, I'm not making my stew in a large quantity, so I'll be making use of only one. I will now add, and uh, two fresh tomato. Here I have one scotch bonnet, I'll just half it because of my kids, I'm not going to add all. I will now cover to blend everything together. My meat is ready, I will now transfer it here and start making my sauce. So I will now add my red oil. I'm, I'm using red oil today. If you don't have red oil, you can use your vegetable oil. It's okay. I'm not actually bleaching my red oil. It's hot enough for me to add my blended sauce. So another thing is to be careful on how you add oil because you know peanut has oil in it. So be careful on how you add oil. So. 
So after mixing it together, we will now allow it to fry. So here is my scent leaf, dry scent leaf. I will now add and add the remaining uh, seasoning powder and then mix. The scent leaf will give it a nice taste. So here I will drop, I will drop my roasted mackerel so that it will absorb the taste of the sauce. Just try and cover everything. After I will remove it so that it doesn't break. After covering it, I will now cover it to fry more while I go ahead and blend my peanuts. So I'm blending with my coffee blender. So at this point now I will start mixing with cold water. I will mix my peanuts with cold water before adding it to my tomato sauce. Now let's check on our fish. So at this point I would like to remove my fish so that it doesn't break. It has absorbed the taste from the tomato sauce. I will now remove it before adding my peanut, peanut butter. I will add it later. Later, later, later. Now I will add my peanuts. And now mix. Everything is coming together. Combine everything together, guys. So at this point, I will add my stock. the meat and the stock and then cover it to cook you will just allow it to cook very well so that it will thicken up to your taste keep eye on it just keep an eye on it don't just leave it and go otherwise it will burn so I will now cover it to cook. So let's check on our stew. Look at that color. It's looking good. This is the right consistency for me. I don't like it too thick. This is the right consistency. If you are making it to if you are using it to eat rice, this is the right consistency for me. Oh. So now I have my baby spinach. I'll add some baby spinach in it before adding our before adding my fish back. Mm. This is looking good already. You can choose not to add them um, baby spinach or any leaf of your choice but I want to add more nutrients to my stew. Now I'll add our fish. Ooh. Everything is looking perfectly okay. So good. Mm. And cover it to simmer like two to three minutes. Ooh. Our soup, not soup now, <laughs> still, but some people, you know, use it to swallow, to eat swallow. <laughs> 
it can serve as soup anyway. So that is it. Let's taste for salt. Hmm. Superb. This is so good. So guys, thank you for hanging around with me. Thank you for your love and support. I sincerely appreciate you all. Thank you and stay positive. Bye. What they call Faku Kwai? It's like Ofaku. <laughs> Banga. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>